Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Tuesday, April 9th. The city of Hallandale Beach, Florida is in the news this week after becoming the only municipality in the state with a fully electric transit bus fleet. The city acquired nine cutting edge electric buses, giving it the largest electric bus fleet owned by any municipality in Florida. Those electric buses mean Hallandale Beach residents will be able to enjoy cleaner air, a reduced carbon footprint, and a transit system that's more reliable than ever before thanks to the city embracing clean electric power for its public transit system. The total bill for the new bus fleet comes in at $5.9 million, with $1.9 million of that money going towards the purchase of the cloud electric buses and the installation of the necessary EV charging infrastructure. Now that's big money for a smaller city like Hallandale Beach, but it's an investment that the local government seems happy enough to make. The city's cloud electric bus service expands free bus routes to better serve the needs of the community. The Cybertruck is getting a 20% increase in its fast charging speeds through an over-the-air software update. When Tesla launches a new vehicle, it often starts delivering it without having completely finished its software development. Tesla often limits its powertrain in new vehicles until it can build more confidence in the hardware and then unlocks more capability through software updates. This appears to be the case with the Cybertruck's charging capacity. Early looks at the Cybertruck's charge curve were disappointing, but it looks like Tesla was being careful with the new hardware and now feels like it can get more out of it. Through a software update later this quarter, the automaker is increasing the Cybertruck's charge curve to 154 miles of range in just 15 minutes. Tesla tends to cut corners to bring vehicles faster faster than legacy automakers, but this also opens the door to vehicles significantly improving after launch. Tesla maintains the highest brand retention rate in the auto industry at 87%. Auto purchasers who already own an EV are extremely loyal to their cars, and as an early player, Tesla has come out as a big winner in the transition to electric. EVs continue to pick up major traction in the US and adoption continues to accelerate even amid charging infrastructure challenges and overall affordability. This trend seems unlikely to reverse course as the benefits of an EV continue to outweigh the cost to current owners. The next generation of affordable EV models set for debut by 2026 may tap more mass market buyers. Despite this, the market still has a long way to go to mature, with charging network inadequacy, range anxiety, and extended charging wait times topping the list of concerns for all car buyers. Cumulative sales of BYD's cheapest electric car topped 360,000 in less than 12 months since it launched. After selling 280,000 Seagull models last year, BYD revealed an even lower priced version last month with a shocking price starting at $9,700, which sold nearly 35,000 units in March alone. The low-cost EV landed in Brazil earlier and now the automaker is looking to the UK to continue its expansion. The company is focused on low prices as it aims to make electric cars accessible to all and plans to accelerate its expansion with new lower priced vehicles as it looks to take market share from gas powered vehicles. With most components built in house, BYD can launch EVs under $10,000 and still earns a profit. The success is causing automakers to shift to smaller, more affordable electric vehicles. BYD plans to launch its next gen Blade EV battery this year, which will enable even lower prices while boosting range. The battery could support over 621 miles of range for all electric vehicles. The company claims new energy vehicles have won over gas-powered cars with better tech and lower prices. BMW is turning to Croatian electric supercar specialist Rimac for EV batteries that will power its future electric cars. The collaboration is the largest and most ambitious project Rimac has undertaken so far. The Tier 1 tech supplier is known for its record-shattering Nevera electric hypercar. Through the partnership, Rimac will supply high-voltage EV batteries for BMW's next-gen electric models, which will roll out in the second half of the decade. Rimac said the partnership will require them to establish sophisticated battery production lines at its campus in Croatia. The new partnership is a pivotal moment as Rimac Tech expands from humble beginnings as a niche high-performance supplier to signing a major partnership with BMW for high-volume production capability. BMW unveiled its Vision Nuer class in September, giving us a glimpse into the brand's future tech and design. The new models are expected to begin rolling out in 2025. In today's community comment found on YouTube, 
Somebody mentioned that the reforestation practices probably don't make up for the amount of trees that are cut down in the logging industry. Well, this is a bit similar to the transition to electric that the auto industry is going through right now. Electric cars can't solve all environmental problems by a long shot, but they're definitely a step in the right direction. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven, and have a great day.